Just got here on a new job. I'm about to start getting it. Uh, we got a 7, 7KW, good tie, upstate South Carolina. Sun's just now coming up. Solar array is going to go over there. We're also going to subfeed this barn and abandon a meter. If you didn't know, if you have a bunch of different meters on your property and you're not really fully utilizing 200 amps on all your different buildings, then if you can get your power company to allow it, you can subfeed a building and not have to pay a meter fee. Here comes the directional boring guys. We've got to go into the driveway. I'm about to be making some holes with my brand new big hog. And it is awesome. So she's still bright and shiny, but she won't be for long. This thing cuts like none other. So this part is just way too cool. These directional boring guys. We've got the, uh, they went under the driveway with the awesome machine. No doubt reverse engineered alien technology. Now they're about to just pull these pieces of conduit straight through. You just use duct tape? Pull it through? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, in a birthday streamer. You gotta tape up the end. Yeah. Oh. What you got there? <laughs> Camera. Oh. Just videoing it. We did we put these shots on YouTube. Huh? I won't show your face. The names and faces have been changed to protect the innocent. If you're lucky. There's that machine. Hook shot. Here's these pipes. This dude's just about to pull these pipes right into this driveway. This is pretty awesome. Epic fail, epic pipe pulling fail. Did it pull off or did it? It broke right, yeah, it broke right at the coupler, huh? At the joint, both of them, same, right? All right, we got to run. And they got to run to Pickens. 18's most popular soft drink, Dr. Prepper. <laughs> Checking the solar. What? Oh. Man, are they building these things out of pressure treated now? This thing's got pressure treated on it. Hey, when you bust this off, keep this pressure treated now. That's PT. Why are they, why is Schletter building out of PT? I can't. There's my inverter. There's my hardware. There's all my good Schletter stuff. So this is how a Schletter comes to you on a big old massive pallet. And we just love it. We love doing Schletters. We can't help ourselves. We just can't help ourselves. There's the SPS. It's got the grid guard key right on it. Oh, don't show it. And we're going to send power back to that house. We're combining their um, feed to their barn with their house so that they can have 100 amps out there. Uh, doing a little directional boring. Doing some solar. Lay the solar out and stick them in the ground. We're going to get a ground mount before lunch. Wait for him to bring the bus up here. Wait for the power company to get out here and put this meter back in. Pop it back we gotta in. We've got to wait for them before we can no, eat. No, no, no. This is the come get on the meter base. What do you call this combo meter base? Rainproof combination meter? Meter main distribution. With distribution. Sweet. With feed through lugs. Feed through lugs. So, what are we? SMA. Solar breaker going in there. Yeah. Barn uh, breaker's already there. Arrestor. You're putting our surge resters in here? Yeah. We'll have one left over. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful day. I can't believe it is. Getting up on close to the end of the day. I'm just searching through my truck. Uh, got our trench and a bunch of our excavating done. Got our pipes pulled up through with the directional boring. Scott's digging in the trench. Rebuilt the service. Got the inverter installed. 
piped over, secure power supply wiring. What? Man. I'm proud of you, Johnny. Did I ever? T I never told you guys about the time I touched the. Uh, the, the negative was bonded to the ground and I touched the bare wire to the back of the positive bus fire and shot a fireball. It was pretty scary. Oi. The end of the day is near. The end of the day is near. Post up. Water line fixed. Burn them daylight, boys. Let's get her in the ground. Material <laughs> on site. We are beat. Just showing the end of the job. Concrete's coming tomorrow, 10 o'clock. We're going to be ready for them. Old duck boot. Old duck boot on the scene. So, can definitely get a lot of work done on one day. Retired that. 200 amp service that was feeding that barn, which is nice because now you don't pay the meter fee. A lot, a lot of times, if you have multiple meters on your property, you're paying a 10, 15, 20 dollar base charge just to have a meter. If you don't use a lot of power out there, it doesn't make any sense to have 200 amps run. So we just uh, changed this meter base at the house out. We're feeding 100 amps of power out to the barn now. Save some money for that for sure. And then, in addition to that, we're doing the 7KW solar array. So, 7KW, and that'll make some good money. Good morning, folks. Johnny Valentine here with day two of this uh, grid tie by, or just a grid tie install. And we got the concrete coming. So, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, here we go. A little over. 75 yards of concrete per hole, and they should be coming around the mountain anytime now. Homeowners not letting them on the driveway, so concrete trucks coming, coming over the pasture. Everything's formed up. Caution tape and the conduit are in the trench. He's all formed up and ready to go. Got the Schletters post standing on a little block. Got her leveled up. String heights, everything's ready to go, and uh, have a nice little concrete pour. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. There comes the concrete coming over the mountain. So I'm gonna put my camera down and pick up my shovel. What you need? How hot's that water? 140 degrees, two percent calcium going in. So we're gonna be able to set this. We're gonna be able to build this thing today. We have to because the rain's coming. In a matter of hours. Here we go. Yeah, that's good. Now every now and then we have a little extra concrete and sometimes people have more than just a hole to put it in. So we poured this little, what do you call this little little, little thing? This little ramp? Little, this is a little ramp so he can jump up here. He can get some air off of here now with his four-wheeler. Ordered a little too much concrete, did you boss? Well, you know, there's a minimum and I hate to be short. Standing around, look at me. Where's the rest of the concrete? <laughs> it's the minimum. Yeah, I love. It. So we're just over here doing some of this earth work, some of this solar work, earth work. Wait for this concrete to get hot and cure up. I'm just giving it a nice broom finish. <laughs> Making it look good for you. So you know, next time you do some solar work, if you got a little driveway project, just tell it, tell us, and we'll just figure that in. And With your tree removal, concrete work. Electrical. No, I'm there. Solar is painting. Solar is just the just vehicle. another arrow in the quiver. Absolutely. You know. Hot water. Water. Yep. What else are we doing? Air conditioning. And now we have Cummins. We're approved Cummins power generation generator. Need a generator? We got them. Look no further. Well, YouTube, uh, we're about to put these panels up. Got the rack built. Got that concrete set up. And uh, they always say, you know, don't, don't judge the solar panel by its frame, which we won't. 
These are Mission Solars. They're out of San Antonio. MSC 295s. And uh, word on the street is that they packed up a factory in China and moved it over here. You can read that built in the USA. But modules are a little bit hard to come by right now because of the impending trade sanctions. So we're using these beautiful MSC 295s. As I was saying earlier, you don't want to judge a silver panel by its frame, but you can judge a panel by the pallet. And this one is a beauty, folks. Oh, that's a bit anti-climatic. Pressure treated, no, heat treated. I think that the, the, the color yellow is from the heat, not the pressure treated. Could be PT, but that is going to make a... Yeah, they're going to have to treat it, but that thing is going to make a beautiful firewood rack. All solid wood construction throughout. Heat treated for structural and dimensional stability. Oh man, the wind's picking up, dude. I don't want to blow these panels over. We got them out panels, folks. Things are just getting a little too hasty around here. So, put some panels up and show you what we got. What? Abraham. He's a little bit sick today. Beautiful, beautiful place to be working today. Beautiful place to be working. Oh, it's rolling, man. Hey, boss. What's up? Any words? I like these mission solar panels. I heard that they were not good quality. Uh, I can't find a blemish or defect yet, have you? I have not, but they sure do come on a sturdy pallet. Yeah, but they kind of scare me the way they stack them. Yeah, they, they do the old school, old school Tape, bookshelf style. Yeah, domino style. Bookshelf style. Anyway, we got that pallet broke down now. She broke down. Hi, it's been a long day too here in the good Thai solar array install. Abraham's just a tidying up. A tidying. And we have this 7KW 24, 24 Mission Solar 295s. And they're up, mounted. Got the concrete poured. Had a 120 degree water and calcium added to the mix so it's set super quick and tomorrow we're going to wire this puppy up and it's going to be in two strings of 12 we're going to take dc back to the house and go into the inverter which is in the garage it's an sma 7.0 with a secure power supply so you've seen us build sweaters plenty of times if you haven't you need to watch more gain solar install videos because you're so a nerd. Thank you for watching. Beautiful day again. Very thankful to have a job in a beautiful place. There's Engineer 775 making a video. Very postmodern. One more thing about Gain Solar. Mr. Engineer 775 doing solar jobs. We try to really we're going to disturb the ground. You saw how torn up the ground was, but we try to take care of their yard. So Scott gets his tractor out here. We try to level everything out, smooth it over, get some hay down. Got some cardboard over there where we're going to be working tomorrow. Just treat your yard nice because we may make a mess, but we try to clean it up. Even had a little extra concrete over there. Poured a little slab for that guy. Okay, you two. So, this sucker's done. Pretty happy with it. Told a bunch of guys. 7KW. We got DC conduit running. And uh, I'm really liking those IMO disconnects. All the wires are managed, tucked up tight, and looking good. These are the Mission Solar 95 watt panels. A nice little DC switch. Leave it in the off position. We're done. Done. Yep. Um, AC disconnect. You passed inspection. Uh, we weren't totally done, yeah. but it came out. They don't. So I just got to call Joey Aiken and just tell him it's done. Inverter. 
Blue Ridge and then I'll go up. Secure power supply. We already tested her. She worked good. This one's done. So, happy with the way the job went. Thank you for watching.